My name is Earl Maxwell, and I'm the CEO of the St. David's Foundation. And I want to thank all of you for being here, and I want to welcome you to this momentous occasion. You know, when I pulled up to this house, I already knew that Mr. Hunter had lived in this house all of his life, or at least most of his life. But I pulled up, and the first thing I said when I saw the house is this is exactly like my grandparents' house in the Woodland Heights in Houston. And, and their house was built in 1930, and so was this one. The siding's the same, the architecture's the same, the front porch is the same. So it's really neat to be here. Um, and I, I also, I wanted to let you know how this came about. Ralph Wayne, who I think works with the police department, uh, Ralph is a longtime lobbyist here in Austin, called C.W. Heatherly, who is the chairman of our, uh, former chairman of our board, uh, with the idea, of, and C.W. called me and said, we need some funding for some air conditioners uh, for older people. And then I referred that to our program officer, Andrew Levac, and uh, he then called Adam Hauser at Meals on Wheels. And that's the way a lot of these things happen. Somebody has an idea and it comes to fruition. And so we're just pleased as can be to have partnered with the Austin Police Department, Cops for Charity, and, um, and Meals on Wheels, which is a long-standing uh, partner of ours. And one of our major efforts in our foundation is to help aging populations. And this is a classic example of what we really focus on is aging in place. Because we know the longer my parents in Houston and the hunters here, the longer they can stay in their home and be self-sufficient, the longer they'll live. And so one of the contributors to that kind of health is air conditioning. And so we waited for a day that would be 103 degrees to have this announcement <laughs> because it reinforces the need for air conditioning. And, uh, and it's very reminiscent to me because I was probably 12 or 13 years old when we got our first window unit in Houston. And it was a Frederick. These window units, we have funded 40 of these air conditioners. And in this particular case, those highly efficient well-run air conditioners are going to replace this old air conditioner that's sitting on the front porch. And, and the hunters are going to be able to be in a cool home. So with that, I think I've touched on everything I meant to touch on. It's a good day. Thank you again for being here. And I want to introduce Chief Brian Manley, who's going to talk about the police department's role in all of this. Well, good morning and thank you all for being out here. Uh, I want to reiterate some of the comments that have been made. Uh, again, I think today's a great day. Uh, it's a great day for the Austin Police Department. It's a great day for the Austin community. It's a great day to display uh, really just Austin community giving back to those that are in need and demonstrating through the Seton's uh, work here today, Meals on Wheels, and, and allowing us to partner with them. And as a result of that, the Hunter family is going to receive air conditioning today that's going to allow them again to, to live in comfort. But for the police department, this is an, an important partnership because we talk all the time about community policing. We talk a lot about building relationships, about building trust and legitimacy. And this gives us an opportunity to give back to the community, to give back to those in need. And it's through partnerships like this with the Seton Foundation and with Meals on Wheels that we're allowed to do what we're here to do today. And this is a program that we have been allowed to participate in this summer. Um, we have been able to help assist other families that are in need and deliver air conditioning units to other families that are suffering this summer as well. Again, uh, as was mentioned earlier, today is the perfect day uh, and this is the perfect week with every day going to be above 100 degrees that we recognize the need in this community is great. And we know that those less fortunate are living in very uncomfortable circumstances at times. And so when we went about this, 
um, and, and looking for community partners and getting invited into this program, it was so important to have these great community leaders and these great community organizations partnering with us, uh, the police department, to allow for the installation of these air conditioners. So um, I'm, I'm proud of the work that's been done already for our community. I'm proud of the, the, the partnerships and, and the families that are living in comfort. And, and again, through the partnerships that we have with these agencies. Um, I've got a few people here with me today from the department as well that do a lot in the area of giving back. Um, I've got Lieutenant Gina Curtis who, who really heads our Cops for Charities operation and that's a charity function that the police department runs and through that charity we've been doing some of these air conditioner installations and both President Ken Can uh, Cassidy of the uh, APD uh, Police Association along with Officer Bino Cadenas are here and they too have personally installed air conditioners over the past month and a half to two months. Um, and, and again, it's just a great opportunity for us to give back. Um, Bino himself is, a, is, is an Austin uh, native growing up here in East Austin and uh, again, had to get working these streets uh, in, in both the professional capacity but getting to come back today in more of that servant role and more of that opportunity to give back to the community. This really is at the heart of what we're trying to do at the Austin Police Department on top of just the day-to-day -day demands to keep the community safe. This is that opportunity again to build those relationships with our community and to help those that are in need. So we're grateful to our partners at both the Seton Foundation and Meals on Wheels for allowing us to participate and uh, we look forward to this continued partnership uh, in the years to come so that we can continue to provide this much needed service to those in our community. Um, and with that, uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, ask Mr. Adam Hauser, the president of Meals on Wheels. I think he would like to come up and make a few statements as well. Thank you, Chief. Thank you. Good morning, I'm Adam Hauser, President and CEO of Meals on Wheels Central Texas, and we are very proud and honored to join this life-saving collaboration with our partners, St. David Foundation and the Austin Police Department, and I would like to thank Earl Maxwell and Chief Manley for being here with us today as well. Um, this partnership is what makes our community a better place to live for people from all walks of life including our community's vulnerable seniors. And that's what Meals on Wheels Central Texas is all about. Providing assistance to those seniors who need our help to, as Mr. Maxwell so eloquently stated, to age in place, to live independently in their homes for as long as possible. And sometimes that assistance goes well beyond the meals that our volunteers deliver on a daily basis to the people we serve. And today is a perfect example of our broader holistic approach to helping our community's older adults as we get ready to install a new air conditioner uh, in the home of the hunters so that they can continue to combat this extreme heat that our city continues to suffer through. The other great thing about today is it shows you the power of volunteerism. As we have volunteers from the Meals on Wheels Central Texas Handy Wheels program working together with the Austin Police Department's Cops for Charities group to do the actual installation today. And finally, enabling the hunters to age in place, to stay in their home, is a great way to preserve the history and fabric of our wonderful Austin neighborhoods like you see here today. And that couldn't be more true for uh, somebody like Mr. Hunter, who's lived in this home almost his entire life. And so uh, allowing him to age in place is important for uh, our neighborhoods in Austin. So we're very proud, we're very honored to join forces with the Austin Police Department and St. David's Foundation to help the hunters so that they can live safely, they can live in good health, and they can live for as long as possible in this great place they call home. Thank you again. Uh, miss or mister? Uh, miss, miss Hunter. Miss Hunter, we'd like to hear from you. Hello, everyone. Um, I really like to say we appreciate 
getting this air condition, um, it, I mean, it's a small house, but it gets very hot in this house. <laughs> um, I was just telling my husband a few minutes ago, I was fixing something for the kids to eat breakfast this morning, and going in that kitchen to cook is, gets hot. So it's like, you have to cook a little bit, come out, try to get yourself cooled off, and get back in there and try it again. That's how hot it gets in this house. So I really appreciate the uh, air condition and everything. Um, I know we're gonna sleep well tonight for it. Uh, my grandbabies are gonna sleep very happy. <laughs> but um, it also helps a lot because I, I, um, I have an illness that, you know, the heat, it just kind of makes it worse. So, you know, now to know that I'll be able to keep myself cool and, and um, keep healthy. Um, my husband, he's been here majority of his life, and you know, he he always saying, "I, I, I dream is to have a uh, central heating and air installed one day." And we're working towards it. But um, I appreciate Meals on Wheel because that's one less meal I have to go in the kitchen and cook and heat the house up again. Even though we had the little small air conditioning there. It once they even just to turn the pallets on in the in the kitchen just heated up the whole house. So it, it's a blessing. It's a blessing, and I really appreciate everyone that came in and participated and got this for us. And I mean, it was like in a matter of days of once I called and asked for it. So I I really really appreciate it. Now I think we're ready to install the unit and we're going to have the volunteers from Meals on Wheels and Cops for Charity put in this unit and so I think it, it uh, requires a countdown so let's start with 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's install the air conditioner.